Okay, this is called Nude Chrome here. And I'm throwing in my two cents about what I think about this new look YouTube. I know you've probably already seen it a million times before. You know, there's a million videos about here about people ranting and raving about what they think about it. And, well, in this video I'm going to show you my views about it. Now, all these popular videos, let's uh, just have a look at what they are. What videos are popular right now? Now, you can click on any of these featured videos, most popular videos or whatever, and you can bet your life that all of these are by partners. There are no regular YouTubers videos right here. So let's just click on one completely at random. I don't know. Let's have a look at this one. How's it going guys? Mr. Guitar Man here. Today I just want to play a little ditty for you guys on my guitar. If there's an advert in this, it's by a partner. Oh yes, and it sure is. Anyway, that brings me on to the next thing about what I don't like about YouTube. Is this stupid thing here when they put an ad in front of the video? I mean, sure, you know, put an ad to the side of the video if you want. I mean, I can understand you've got server fees to pay and, you know, the ads pay for you, whatever. But don't put them in front of the freaking video! I ranted about that, now I'll just go on to... YouTube. Oh, this one looks like porn or something. Do you remember there used to be a thing around here that said upload? Well, that's not there anymore, is it? When this new layout first came out, I thought they removed that. In fact, it's right here. I mean, yeah, sure, that's vibrant and noticeable, isn't it? Now, this is another thing that um, YouTube should have never have done, this beta channel thing. I mean, personally, I don't actually have much to say against the beta channels, but I know there's a lot of people out there who didn't want their channel changed to the beta channel. You know, you had a choice of whether you wanted the beta channel or not, but they decided, you know, everybody's going to have it and that's final. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the good things, a couple of things I do like about YouTube. Recently, in the subscriptions thing, they added this feature where you can take out a video you don't want to watch. You can just click on this little X thing and then that video, if you don't want to see it, you can remove it and your subscriptions don't get all cluttered up with videos you don't want to see. And later on they added it to this as well. So if there's a video in the recommended for you thing that you don't want to see, you can then just click on the little X thing and it will never appear in the rendered for, um, recommended for you thing again. But this in the subscriptions thing is now completely messed up. If I click on the X, See? Nothing happens! I see some lights flash on my modem, but it's still there, even if I refresh the page. See? It's still there. Now, another thing I do like is the closed captioning system. I mean, that is just hilarious. I'm going to show you one of these typical examples right now. I'm sorry, but all travel sites usually get killed. Silverware. Uh, cereal. That's just the most funniest thing I've ever seen. It translates dog's box into random words. So here we are in the video page. And I know this is what you all want to know what my opinions are, so I'm going to tell you everything I think that is wrong with this video page. Firstly, you don't see the user's profile picture anywhere. You can scroll down, you can scroll up. It's not there anywhere. Don't you remember how you used to be able to get to that person's channel and see more of their videos? Well, now you have to click on the banner or the username which appears here, and that will go to the channel. But do you remember how they used to have more videos from this user in this column here? Now that has been replaced by related videos. And remember it used to say, see all? That's gone. So if you want to see more related videos other than the ones that they're displaying here, forget it. So if you want to see more videos from that person without going to their channel, you have to click on this. And then, of course, then you've got it right there, which I think totally sucks. Next thing is this video description. It's only two lines. You can click it to see more of the video description. So I guess that's not too much of a bad thing. But the thing that really gets my goat about this new video page thing is the stupid like and dislike thing. The five star rating thing was much better. You could see what people thought of the video. And to actually see what 
people think about this video. You have to rate it yourself. There is no other way to see what um if people if people like this video or dislike this video. Now I'm not gonna bother with going through that, but now we have a classic example of how screwed up the comments are. Let's take a look at how they've organized this now. We have uploader comments, highest rated comments, and most recent comments. Although it tells you who is commenting now, it, it is just absolutely, totally, it's just, this is going to confuse a lot of people. I mean, now it's completely all out of, you know, you know, you're trying to, you know, this is all, oh, I just don't know how to explain this, you know, it, it's just, it was much more simpler when you had the most recent comment first and the most oldest comment last. That's the way it should be. If you want the comments in, you know, chronological order, you've got to um, go into the all comments thing and then have a look. It's absolutely ridiculous. And even this YouTube thing is screwed up. It's like this stripy, transparent thing now. So anyway, to wrap it up, what I'm going to say, give the five star thing back, put the comments back the way it was, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the original layout, so why do you have to go and mess up something that was already completely fine? I mean, there's no point complaining to them, because they don't listen to you. Unless you know someone who works on this site personally, you don't stand a hope in hell of changing it. So I'm asking you, the viewers, mirror this video, you know, download it. Copy it, put it onto your own website, and um, put it onto your own YouTube page, you know. Yeah, make this video go viral, you know, everybody needs to know what is wrong. And until next time, goodbye.